Hey guys, Zach with Joggers Trains. So today has finally come. If you don't know what today is, today is January the 14th. It's a Friday. Everybody loves Fridays, but today is Friday. is even better because Lionel gives a new catalog today. Volume 1 of 2022 was released this morning. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to check out the catalog. Now, if you haven't seen my catalog reviews, I love to do catalog reviews. Um, I started reviewing them last year and I had a blast with them. So I thought, hey, let's do it again. I seem to get pretty good uh, feedback from you guys that you guys like the way I do them. So if you don't know how I do my videos, I'm going to keep it honest. I'm going to keep it real and I'm going to call it the way I see it. Um, if I think something's awesome, I'm going to tell you. If I think something's dumb, I'm going to tell you real quick. So we'll, we're going to go through the scale section of the catalog because that's what I collect. If you guys want another video of the rest of the catalog, let me know. I can do another video. No big deal. I just typically don't do them. So before we get into this video, check out this logo right here. If you don't know this logo by now, this is the Matt and Matt O'Scale Train podcast. Um, they're going to release a podcast covering the catalog with Ryan Kunkel of Lionel, and they also have a special guest. Um, I won't tell you who the guest is. Just go check out the podcast. You'll figure out his voice real quick. So go check out the podcast and uh, let them know what you think. So before I get into the video, I'm going to tell you how I'm going to do it. So we're going to run through the scale stuff, and then towards the end of the at the end of the video, I will tell you what I'm going to buy from the catalog or what I intend on buying on the initial review of the catalog because I just flipped through the catalog briefly at work this morning when it was released and I have an idea what's in the catalog but I don't remember everything so we're going to go over it we're going to look at things a little bit closer than I did this morning and then I'll give you guys uh, an idea of what I'm going to order out of the catalog if anything so without further ado uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into this catalog oh by the way if you haven't subscribed yet click click the little subscribe button give me a like leave me a comment let me know what you think about my catalog reviews okay now let's get into this catalog all right, guys, so here it is. It's the cover of the Lionel 2022 Volume 1 catalog. Obviously, as you can see here, we got the 1218, which is as has been announced since October, the new Vision Line engine. So uh, that's a cool, I think it's a cool catalog cover. Cooler than some of the last few that they've done now, but we're not here to look at covers of catalogs. So let's uh, get past the chitter chatter pitter pattern. Let's just jump on into this thing. So we're going to skip all these fluff pages. We'll skip this. And we'll get to this page. This is the actual product page. This is the Lionel Base 3. Um, this has been rumored to be coming out for a while. And then they, I guess they did, talked about it in a magazine or whatever last month or November, whenever it was. Anyway, right, this is going to link all your systems together and control like 10 cab 2 remotes at once or whatever the case is. I'd, you can go in here and read all this. I'm not going to sit here and read all this to you because you guys are more capable of doing that. Nobody's here to look at this really, I don't think. I don't know that I'm going to pre-order this. I might wait a year or two to see how many problems this has. And uh, I'll just keep my... I actually have two legacy systems, so maybe I'll send my, my backup one to get it repaired, and then I'll get it back and send my primary one to get it repaired. Other than that, my I have two legacy systems, so I should be good for a while before anything really goes haywire. But I may order this just to uh, just to order it because it is uh, it does work with the cab too. So that's the new... Lionel Base 3 retails for $500, so there you go. Get it if you want it. Now, let's skip past these. We'll, we'll, we'll cover this real quick. This is the Lion Chief app. If you've never seen it, this app is not good. It is trash basket. This is the new app, uh, the Cab 3 app that they say is going to be a lot better, a lot more responsive. Uh, it looks more like a legacy remote panel, but I don't know how good it's going to be. It does have a quilling whistle button or slider or whatever you want, rocker, whatever you want to call it, so... We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see how the app goes. I haven't tried to download it, but maybe it's uh, available now. I'm not sure. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and jump into these engines. This is the beginning of the O scale section. So obviously we're gonna start with steam. Line I'll usually put steam before diesels. So there it is. There's the engine that's been rumored since not rumored, but debuted since uh, York October last year. It's the Vision Line Norfolk and Western Class A. Now, let's go ahead and jump into talking about this engine. I'm going to try and keep this brief as possible. I don't know what you guys feel, feel about this engine, but I'm going to tell you what I feel about it because that's what I do. Now, there are several different variants of this engine, as we see here. You got three different ones here, and you got five different ones on this page. So, I, uh, I, I will tell you that I am going to order a Class A for the simple fact that. I like Vision Line engines and I like articulated, so this checks two boxes. So, what I don't like about this engine um, are the features. Uh, so, if you remember back to the York debuting of this engine, 
they told us we were going to have a special feature. So obviously we have Whistle Steam, which is not a Vision feature, that's standard. We have Safety Steam, which has been offered in several non-Vision engines recently. Then we have the Stereophonic Rail Sounds, which I will call that a, a Vision feature. But the one feature, man, that I've, I've been waiting on for probably about, you know, since I got a legacy system in, in 2000 or 2009, 2010, you know, I was running, first time I ran that engine, I said, man, if I could just have four digit addressing, that would change the whole way this engine operates. It would make this engine come to life and more prototypical and realistic. And, and, and finally, Lionel has listened to my, my, my pleads to just give me my four digit, man, let me stop. That is the dumbest damn feature I've ever seen Lionel try to, try to, you know, just throw on us and act and try to make us think it's great unless this cab 3 has some special function is going to unlock with this four digit addressing system that is so dumb and yes i'm going to buy a, a class a do i still think that this is just a legacy engine that lionel grabbed threw it in a black box and said hey we'll sell it as a vision engine yes that's exactly what i think they did now granted with the price point of these and given the price of the other legacy engines in the catalog Maybe this is what an articulated legacy engine should really sell for right now. And they're just putting it in a black box to make somebody feel better. But at any rate, I'm going to order one. I'm not very happy that the special feature is a trash basket. Um, but I can't change that. Uh, if you're wondering or thinking about getting one of these engines, you haven't seen the catalog. Say this is the first time you've seen this catalog. Uh, as you can see here, this engine runs on 072. That's probably not a joke. It's probably very real. And then the uh, length of this engine is 30 and a half inches long. So these retail for $20.99. Um, if you go through a good dealer, like I have Legacy Station as my main dealer, that's who I generally place my, that's who I always place my pre-orders through. He's, uh, Brian's selling them for, I think, $18.89 was his pre-order price. So if you want a Class A, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the rest of the, the versions of it here in a minute. Um, but I, I'll, I'll show you which one I'll be getting. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about this 1218 here, which is obviously the famous one known for its uh, excursion trips that it has done in the past um it has a four pack of the norfolk and southern excursion coach cars and uh brace yourself this four pack is 900 dollars because apparently lionel thinks they are third rail and they're going to just charge whatever they want for passenger cars the difference is third row passenger cars are phenomenal and lionel's are well they're not so if you want that pay that kind of money for a uh, for four pack go for it it's not my not my gig. So on this page here, obviously we have 1218, which is the famous one. Then we have the prototype, which is number 1200. Obviously you can see it's not no letters on the tender, and uh, these do have different tenders. So as you can see here, this is the right here. This is the Y3 style tender, which that tender looks just like the tender on my Y3. So we'll go with that's correct. And then on the uh, 1238 up here, you have the Class A tender with the uh, extensions up here for the coal. I prefer this tender. I think it matches the engine better and gives it more of a muscular look, I guess we'll call it. Uh, so while we're talking about the 1238, this is also the engine that I'm going to be ordering. I'm going to order this engine for the simple fact that it has the roller bearing rods. Um, they are going to be blackened. I kind of wish they weren't going to be blackened, but oh well, I'll take them blackened. It'll be fine. I I'll, I'll like that blacked out look, I believe. But the uh, roller bearing rods are the they the thicker profile, kind of like the, looks more like the rod on the, the drive rod on the uh, unshrouded J. So I'll make a video of that if you guys want to see it. They're, they're going to look similar to that. I also put a picture in right now of the uh, roller bearing rods on the real Class A. So you can take a look at that. Um, now let's go ahead and skip to the next page. We'll kind of keep this uh, as quick as I can here. We got the uh, 1210 from World War II era. This also has a Y3 tender. I wanted this engine originally. I didn't know that it had the Y3 tender on it, but I uh, thought it would be cool to have the World War II era, but I'm obviously not going to get that. Then we have the 1211, which is post-World War II, so post-1945. You have the LCCA exclusive, which is 1222. I don't collect pilot models, but if I did, I would probably buy this because I think this pilot looks really cool. Um, no paint job. Obviously, it's clear-coated. Some people like those. And then we have this. Number 1201, the what if passenger scheme. Here's an idea I know. What if you didn't make this nonsense? They just took the tender and just slapped the 611 stripe on the side of it and took it to the house. So 
Hey, if you guys out there like that, don't let me deter you. I just think it's silly. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys like it. That's hey, that's why they make Chevys and Ford, y'all. I'm not here to tell y'all what to do. I'm just telling you my opinion of what I would do. I wouldn't buy that damn thing. Now, now we've talked about the the vision lines. I'm not going to sit here and blast Lionel anymore about these. We're going to just keep it moving, and we'll blast them about these stupid horse cars. So, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have realized or paid attention, but I'm not a fan of any of the vision line cars. I think they're a gimmick because the sounds are cool for about 10 minutes until you get it entirely played out with them. They're just they're just silly. So this is essentially just a vision line baggage car that they've changed the sounds in. Looks here like they're gonna say you get a uh, plays dialogue when stop with three different stop scenarios loading, watering, and unloading. Okay, that's cool. You have it in several different road names here, Pennsylvania, Santa Fe Railway Express, Southern Pacific, Louisville, Nashville, Canadian Pacific. It's just a gimmick car to me. Um, I I don't care. You, I mean, if you guys want to pay three hundred and seventy dollars retail, hey, collect them all like Pokemon cards, I guess. So we'll keep it rolling here. We'll go to the Vision Line uh, three pack stock cars. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the Vision Freight cars. The sounds are cool for a little bit. Like, I have a set of Vision PFE reefers with the, that came with the big boy. They're in a box. I don't even use them. Like, this sound does nothing for me. So, anyways, you have the Santa Fe, uh, Northern Pacific, Swift, the Mighty UP, New York Central, and then, obviously, we're going to do B&O. And I would contemplate buying these just for the B&O ones because I would like some, I like the way these cars look, and I would like to have B&O stock cars. I'm not paying $450 for three cars. Um, not happening, Captain. So, that is what it is. Oh, and you get a cool quilling pig sound in it. Yeah, good line. I'll stop, man. Good Lord. Now, we'll keep it rolling. We'll go to the Legacy Steam, and hopefully we can find some useful stuff over here. Yes, we can. We've got the two ten fours. Now, if you would notice, as we looked at the Legacy Class A's, I mean, sorry, the Vision Class A's, uh, um, they had a lot of features that these have, which is kind of funny. But uh, these have whistle steam, they have fan driven smoke. Obviously, this is 2022. Lionel can stop advertising fan driven smoke. It should be a given by now at this point. Has legacy rail sounds and then new tooling, aka this is MTH engine because uh, these are MTH 2104s. That's what they are. So, obviously, as you see here, we got the two uh, Santa Fe's, then we have the Santa Fe black bonnet, which I'm not typically a fan of the black bonnet, but this one here is pretty cool. Uh, I actually like it better if we get rid of the yellow stripe here. This is all black, and then just have the color here. I think they look good. Uh, then we've got the Kansas City Southern. I'm going to call that the regular Kansas City Southern. Then we have this uh, Kansas City Southern with the tender, the Pull With Me For Victory by War Bonds Everyday Payday tender on it. Uh, that, I ain't going to lie, that engine is bad. I really like that. That is super cool. And then we have the Pensy. I don't really care about the Pensy over here. So if I was to get one, it would be the 5011 or the, the 905 KCS with the cool tender. Unfortunately, I, I, I can't buy everything that I want because they're just just too much, you know. So I can't. I'm buying a Class A, so I'm going to have to I have too many engines on pre order to stack a 2104 on top of the deck. So we're going to leave the 2104 alone. And um, maybe next time, maybe they'll run them again or. Maybe I can find one later down the road. Um, I do like this tender a lot. It'd be cool if I get that tender with that engine, or I don't know. Maybe it'd be cool if I could just buy both of them, but that's not going to happen. So, two ten four. These retail for uh, seventeen. What is that? Seventeen forty nine. Yeah, seventeen forty nine ninety nine. I think I saw them on pre order for like fifteen hundred something. They run on 072s as well. They're the same length as the Class A's. So once again, another big engine. So if you have a small layout, it might not be the best engine for you to to pick. So let's uh. Let's keep it moving here. Check out the next next selection that Lionel has provided for us. All right, we uh, are at the. Let's let's try to not piss everybody off. We got the Berkshire or Berkshire, or let's just go with Burke to avoid pissing everybody off and starting a fight over how you pronounce the word. Uh, Lionel Burks, I think, are the best Burks. No offense to you, MTH people, but I do believe Lionel Burks are better. I have the 2014 Nickel Plate Road. So therefore, I'm in no hurry to go out and order another Burke. But if I was, it would probably be this uh, Boston and Albany. I think that one looks the best of the ones on the page. 
So you got B and A, you got B and M, and then you got Chicago Northwestern, Santa Fe, Southern Pacific, and Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. These engines run on a little smaller curve. They run on 054s. They're about 26 inches long, so they're a little smaller engine, but they're still a coma. A little more than a medium, but not quite a big engine, but they're they're cool. I mean, my Burke is awesome, so I assume that these would be just as cool and nice. So, um, all you guys have been screaming, you guys want Burks, you want Burks. Lionel should make a whole truckload of money off of the people that have been screaming they want Burks for months. So, all you guys have been screaming about it, you better be ordering them. Otherwise, I'm just going to rag you guys, especially my friends. So, get your Burks. Stop crying about it. There they are. All right. Texas to the Atlantics. Uh, these are cool little engines. Um, these retail for $8.99. I think pre-order on them is going to be like, we'll call it $7.99 range. Uh, they're, what are they, 442s or something like that. Uh, they're run on 031, so you guys that have been looking for legacy engines that have smaller layouts or smaller curves or maybe don't have the money to go out and buy the big engines, this is a, I like these engines. I think these are great little engines, uh, especially if you're, if you're on a budget and want a, want a cool higher end engine, this is, this is you guys. Uh, they got the Boston, the Maine, Missouri, Pacific, New Haven, New York Central, Southern, the Wabash. If I was to order one, I'd probably stick with the New York Central. Um, I would like to have the Southern, for the, but I wouldn't order it for the simple fact I have zero faith line. I can get a color right because they have failed miserably time and time again on colors. So these are one of these engines. If you want the Southern, maybe you might want to wait and see a picture first or something. I don't know how you work that, but... I would be uh, very, uh, I, I'd, I'd be very cautious with lying on their colors right now. But they're small, another small engine. Uh, if so, some people don't like the big engines. Get this, it's a great engine. Uh, let's keep it moving here. I'm not going to order one of these. Uh, like I said, I'll tell you guys at the end what I'm ordering exactly. But uh, it's not going to be one of these, not this time around. So then we go to the 060. This is the X. Uh, MTH tooling as you can see here it says all new product and new tooling it's only new because they bought it from MTH now apparently the tender for the Strasburg 31 is wrong I don't know I'm not a Strasburg foamer but all the Strasburg foamers have been on the internet blasting people about these tenders so this is another small engine though runs on 031 curves uh, 17 inch long engine these uh these are cool little engines just, I'm, I'm just not really looking for an 060 if I was it'd be the Bethlehem steel because I would I really like to have a Bethlehem engine. I just just don't yet, but one of these days I'll get one. And just not today, but these are uh, retail for 7.99. So I'd imagine you could probably get these for six in the sixes, 680, 690 somewhere, somewhere. There. I think it'd be a great engine for you guys who have smaller layouts or just like 060. These look like a good engine. Uh, so we'll go into the next page. We got the 040s, and this right here is an engine I was super looking forward to. Um, I heard these were going to be in the catalog. And I, I've been wanting a, a steam switcher. I don't know why. I don't have a yard, but I wanted a steam switcher. Then they did them in B&O, and I was really excited, except for the fact that I'm pretty sure this is just a Lion Chief engine that they have dressed up and slammed some legacy electronics in it. I'm not ordering one of these. They retail for $6.99. I think it's a, way too much money for the engine you're getting. They do run on small curves if you're interested in getting one. Uh, they got Bethlehem still B&O, Long Island, Pennsylvania Army. I'm just going to have to pass on these because I think they're going to look super cheap when they come. So, No offense to, to you guys that like these or want to get one. It's just If they look good when they come out, I might try and get the B&O if I can find one. But I'm not, I don't have a lot of faith in them. They, just, they look cheap in the picture and I, I just imagine they're going to look cheap when you're done when they come out. So, Alright, that takes us to the uh, Legacy Diesel section. Uh, this will be, be interesting to see what we have this year. So we have the first up is the RS-27. This is new tooling. And it's a uh, legacy Bluetooth now, because uh, as uh, compared to last year, when the last time they were made, they had uh, DCS and Proto sound in them. So this is another MTH tooling. If you guys don't know, I like ugly diesels. The BL2 that I have is one of my favorites, and this thing ain't very much better looking. It might actually be worse looking than BL2, to be honest with you. But uh, you got you got two uh, two road numbers. They both retail for 5.99. So. Um, I don't know what the pre-order on these is. I didn't look it up yet, but uh, these got Alco, Conrail, Penn Central, uh, Chicago Northwestern, and Green Bay and Western, and then the Sioux line. If I was to get one, it'd probably be the Sioux line. I like that red and red and white paint scheme. But there's another Sioux line in this catalog that that uh, catches my attention a little better. If you're looking, if you're interested in these, they're uh, they're running 031. It's gonna be your typical legacy diesel. It's gonna be awesome. They're super smooth and sound good. 
Uh, so if you guys haven't paid attention in the past few years, Lionel's been on this SW1 kick with these, or sorry, this small switcher kick and this the new small switcher, clearly the SW1. Uh, I'm on the fence. You know, you see the B&O up there in the corner, but I don't know that I'm going to commit to buying another switcher. I don't, I don't need them. We have several road names, several new road names. Um, I'm going to go with this one's called the Flambeau. I think that's how you say that. You got Turtle Creek, Southern Pacific, uh, Burlington, Northern, Conrail, and obviously you got the B&O on the top. Um, we may or may not get one of these. Maybe one of those things I find later down the road. But these are cool. If you guys haven't messed with these new switchers that Lionel's been making, they have one motor in them. Then they have a drive shaft that comes out of each side of the, uh, like what would be the fuel tank. And it uh, has a drive shaft that powers... Each drive shaft powers each truck, so both trucks are fully powered, so all your wheels are powered. They can pull a lot if you think you're going to get a fast little switcher. Do not buy one of these, I promise. They are the 100% opposite of fast. Now, naturally, we have to have a... If we got a Lionel catalog, we got to have some ES44s. I don't know the last time they made them. It's been a long time, probably like since like the last catalog or something. But you got several uh, You got several different cab numbers to choose from. For, uh, for each engine here, you got uh, two powers and a dummy for what the BNSF heritage and the Canadian national veterans everything else is a power and a dummy option uh, you got the EJ and E which is a good looking engine it's just not for me if I was to buy one of these it would be this US Armed Forces in the black camo color scheme whatever that is I think it looks cool I like the little yellow windows these all retail for quite a bit of money they're $699.99 and the dummies retail for $399 so you could um you could spend a lot of money buying ES44s this year. So we'll keep it moving, trying to move along here. We got the SD40s, which is one of my favorite diesels. I have the BNO from several years back. I love it. And the only the only negative I have to these SD40s is the price has went up, my friend, quite a bit for these. They retail for the uh, power for 650, the non-power for 350. So you got Burlington Northern, Burlington Northern Spirit of uh, 76. Um, the Louisville and Indiana, which I think is an awesome looking paint scheme. I know nothing about that railroad, but I think the paint scheme is cool. We got the, well, I'm going to go with Sealand. I don't know how to say that, that uh, the first word. I've never known how to say that word. But uh, then we got the Savage. I don't know what exactly the Savage is, but they're cool. And if you notice here, the Savage and the, the UP Desert Victory, they are charging uh, about $50 more than the the normal paint schemes because it looks like the Lionel finally figured out to charge more money for harder paint schemes. Good job Lionel. Now I, I do like this UP Desert Victory. Problem with that engine is I think if you were to buy that it's like one of the engines you'd have it for like a couple months and be like okay that that's too much I gotta get rid of that thing it's just too much going on but I don't know that I would be willing to pay retail of $700 for a uh, this thing um, Union Pacific uh, SD70 I think I think that's a bit much in my my personal opinion but let's go to the next page keep it moving now I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this page because I don't like SD 90s at all and I'm not a Canadian Railroad fan so if you're from Canada and you're watching this and I offended you sorry about your luck bro you're on the wrong channel if you think I'm gonna care uh, <laughs> these SD 90s I just think they I've always thought they're kind of ugly engines I got the little stumpy nose yes I don't, they don't look right to me but this this one here with the red bottom and the uh, whatever gray white silverish color that is that's a that's a cool looking engine but overall Canadian Pacific does not work for me and SD 90s does not help obviously we're gonna go to the next page and get more aren't we yes so we have two more Canadian Pacific paint jobs uh, demonstrator well it looks like a Lehigh Valley paint scheme with different names on it I don't know if that's true or not and then the Norfolk Southern UP patch so we'll just skip right on past those um, uh, if you're looking for one, they are retailing for 650. So that brings us to the F40PH proportion section of this catalog. If you guys want to know anything about these engines or what the paint schemes mean, go to my buddy RJ at RJ's Trains. Go over his page, talk, talk to him. He's an Amtrak historian, or I, I don't know, dude knows way too much about Amtrak. I do not like F40s. I will never own an F40 unless somebody gives me one, then I'll probably sell it promptly shortly thereafter. So if you're looking for one of these, I'll give you the details. They run on 054 and they uh, retail for about 630. So if you're looking for an Amtrak, go ahead and get you one. Meanwhile, I will skip right over all of this. Uh, Amtrak passenger cars, same. We're going to skip. And then uh, we got this uh, CSX business train. Now, 
I will tell you, this is uh, obviously a classic Beano paint scheme. It's a travesty that they put CSX instead of Baltimore and Ohio on this beautiful paint scheme. But at the same time, it's a shame they put this paint scheme on an F40. So I guess you can't win them all, can we? So you got three, you got three engines to choose from. They're already done for 630, and all the passenger cars are extremely expensive. So if you want this set, pony up the money, boys. Go ahead and get it. I have the ski train, same set as the CSX set, just only two engines instead of three. Then you have a four pack, a two pack uh, station sounds diner, and then you have a generator car that includes generator sounds for a small fee of $370. So there you go, guys. Get your ski train on. We have the cabbage, Amtrak cabbages. Uh, they're non powered. Apparently, it's cool that they made these. I'm not real sure. That's an RJ at RJ's trains question. So there you go, guys. Um, so now we're going to get to something I do think is cool, which is the F7AA sets. They are both powered. They retail for $11.99. They run on 031 for the A's, and apparently the B's run on 036. I'm going to question that and say, line, I'll probably mess that up. But uh, if you're looking for a B, they have a powered B, and they have a super base B. So you could technically have six motors in an ABBA. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this powered B is $600 in the... The super base B is 550, so no worry. You're going to spend some money if you're going to put this set together, but I do think it's cool. I think it's cool that they did Santa Fe and non war bonnet, so that's cool when you see Santa Fe in different paint schemes, which we don't get very often, so it's exciting to me when we do. We have the Lehigh Valley, and then my favorites are on this page. We have the Sioux Line, like I said, at the RS27. There was a better looking paint scheme in the Sioux Line. This is it, the F7. I think these look really good in red and white. We got the Southern Pacific, then we got the, uh, obviously, the Mighty UPs, which is weird that we only have one UP in this entire catalog, considering it is the 160th anniversary of the Union Pacific. So hopefully in Volume 2, Lionel's going to turn the UP loose and we're going to get something cool. Hey, uh, 844, Lionel, we need an 844, thanks. But uh, if I was to buy one of these, which I have contemplated ordering one, would probably be the Sioux line. I just, I like that red, red nose with the white body, that's... That's man, that's really nice. I like that, but I don't know that I'm going to order multiple engines. We'll we'll see. I'll fill you in at the end of the video here. So let's keep rolling here. So this is a interesting set, which I don't really know anything about. I guess I'd have to Google this this set. The the Aberdeen, Carolina, and Western. Uh, I don't know what that is. That is very very bright colored. I don't know that it's going to look that good when it shows up in person, but that would be cool if it did. And these passenger cars, whew, those are bright. I'd almost like to order the passenger cars and the engines just because just they are so bright and ridiculous, but I'm probably not going to. Then we have the Reading and Northern. These are F9s, not F7s. Now, apparently the Reading and Northern used to be the uh, office train for the Norfolk Southern. But at any rate, these are the same price as the F7s. Um, 1149 to... Actually, the F7s are a little cheaper. The F7s are 11.99. These are 11.49. So actually, the F9s are cheaper than the 7s. It's probably because you got a B and an A instead of two A's. Who knows? I don't know. But they are a little cheaper. They do around 031. And you're looking at a total length for the AA or the AA or AB set. They're both 26 inches long. So I don't know. I think RBP Trains uh, said he's going to order this. So I'd imagine he gets the cars to go with it. I'm curious to see what these look like when they actually are produced and they're on people's layouts. That would be cool if they look just like the picture, but I have a feeling they're not going to look quite that good. Alright, so let's get into the uh, the train sets, the higher end train sets. we got the Bessemer and Lake Erie ore train, so you get the AB set, and then you get the 12 ore cars with the caboose. You have two more six-pack ore car add-ons here, so you could end up with 24 of the Bessemer and Lake Erie ore cars. It's kind of a cool set. I'm not going to lie. The set retails for $16.99. Um, then the, each of these two packs, is, or each of these six packs is uh, $200. So obviously if you go through a dealer, it's going to be a little cheaper than that. But that is a really, I think it's a really cool, uh, unique set. Now let's go to the next one, which is the, I think probably the deal in here. You're going to pay more money for it. But I think it's a deal. It's the, the rocket booster train. This is all MTH stuff. Um, so for retails for seventeen hundred dollars, but you get a legacy ES44. Obviously, it's Union Pacific on the nose, and then you get six uh, standard O gauge box car, or O box cars, and then you get five heavy duty flat cars with loads and uh, protective covers, and you get a twenty one inch sleeping car, which is way here in the back. Um, so that's 
not a bad deal for seventeen hundred dollars. Uh, engine runs O fifty four. The cars are O forty two. So you can get this other five pack with rockets for eight sixty, or you can get this five pack without rockets for two fifty. And then you can also come down and get this other rocket train rider car, the the Hialeah, uh, for two twenty five. We also have a idler six car pack for three seventy five over here. So. You, you throw all that together, you can have you one hell of a rocket train, man. You can get down and go to space all you want. Apparently the rocket's also a simp. You can also build it, make it a rocket that stands up. That's cool, I guess. But that is all MTH stuff. Um, it's a cool little set. Again, I don't really collect modern stuff, so I'm not going to mess around and buy that, but it is a cool set. Let's keep moving on to the next page. we got a Black River and Western Excursion set. Not for me. It retails for 1100 bucks, but it's just not my thing. Neither is this Norfolk Southern 40th anniversary set with the Norfolk Southern ES44. Then you got the three cars. This box car does, however, have the uh, lit flag on it and the smoke and caboose. So that retails for $1,300. Now we got some wood coaches. I don't have any wood coaches, so I'm not going to bother collecting any of these. This is the chapel car that everybody seems to be crazy about. Um, like I like I said, I don't have any wood coaches, so I'm not going to mess around with that thing. But uh, I know several people that plan on buying it, so that's, it'd be kind of cool to see it once it's produced. Freight cars, so we got the, the coal cars. You got two, the two bay, two hopper, two packs. They retail for 200 bucks, so whew, it's a bit, bit much if you ask me, but it'd be nice if, since we have a Vision NW engine that we got a bunch of options to buy NW coal cars, but Lionel couldn't put that all together. It's, it's too much of an ask, I guess. Then we got the Bureau of Mines 18 inch passenger car pack for. Two, two cars, 500 bucks. I'm gonna skip on that. We got the coil cars. The prices have came up a little bit on these, but these appear to be good looking coil cars. I'm sure they'll be great sellers for Lionel. And then we got the graffiti coal cars. Um, not into that really. The Husky stacks. I had no idea these cars were this much money. I've never tried to buy one, but they retail for $170. They are die cast bodies and trucks, and you get two stacks with them. So, next page we have uh, the graffiti. Husky stacks and some of these cars look really cool, but not my thing, so I'm not going to mess with them. That takes us to the uh, illuminated flag box cars. If I bought that uh, UP SD40, I would probably buy this car to go with it, but I'm not buying that SD40. Um, so we got the indoor box cars where the indoors open. Um, those retail for $115. But the one thing that I'm super excited about in this catalog is these right here, the Bobber Caboose, my friends. Uh, obviously, I'm not buying Lehigh Valley, Northern Central, Military, Shawsburg, Maryland, and Pennsylvania. I'm buying the B&O, boys. That's how we're getting down. I've been waiting on a Bobber Caboose for a long time, and apparently Lionel's finally bought the tooling from MTH. So, yes, I get a Bobber Caboose. Um, that's, sorry, I shouldn't be that excited over a bobber caboose, but I've been wanting one for a while. We've got bay window cabooses here with fantasy paint schemes. And then, uh, we've got rotary gondolas, and we have a lot more six, uh, six pack ore cars. So, man, if you were into ore cars, you could really throw together a hell of an ore train out of this catalog. I'm, uh, these retail for 200 bucks as well. So, then we're into the, uh, standard O cars, um, Box cars, uh, standard o gondolas. That's the end of the scale proportion of this catalog. So uh, what we'll do is I'll flip back through here and um, I will show you what I'm gonna buy, what I'm thinking about buying, and uh, close this video out and let me know what you guys think. So let's, let's flip back through here. All right. So as I just got done saying, this right here, the B&O caboose, that's happening, Captain. You can you can bank on that. I am extremely on the fence about either the Sioux Line F7 or the Union Pacific F7. Um, I like both of them, but I think the Sioux Line's a little better looking, but like I said, I just don't want to have too many engines ordered out of this catalog, and then Lionel hits me with a bunch of UP in the next catalog, since, like I said, it is the 160th anniversary. Um, in 2022 for the Union Pacific, I would imagine Lionel's going to do something to, to try and capitalize on that. And that brings us back to the 2104s, which... Like I said, I would love to have one, but I have too many other engines on order right now. I can't just throw a, a 2104 on top of the pile of orders. So unless I was to cancel something else, I, there's no way I would add this. But I would, I would love to be able to get one. But it's 
it's probably not going to happen for me this uh, this catalog so we're going to call that an on the fence but probably getting off the fence soon then that brings us to right here my friends this is a get for me division engine even to me it's not quite division standards but to Lionel apparently it is it doesn't change the fact that uh, $1,800 for an articulated steam engine it's 300 more dollars than the 2104's um, pre-order prices so I think I can deal with the price um, I'm not overly thrilled with the lack of features considering it's a vision engine but I also think that there's not very much more stuff they can do to make a vision engine an actual vision engine anymore I think they've met the end of the road for the vision line name so I mean that's something I got to figure out but I'm definitely gonna order this this particular one 1238 so that's all I got for the review of this catalog. Um, if you guys have any comments, uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Try not to blast line all too bad this cat this go around. Um, but they're doing their best. They're in a tough situation. You know, economy's climbing, prices are climbing. So it is what it is. They got to make money too. So all you guys go out and place your orders with your dealer. Get your line up products on order. Help help the the big L out, and we'll uh, we'll do it again for the next catalog. So. Without further ado, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I try to keep it as brief as possible. I know it's going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos. I hope you made it all the way through this video. If you've made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious to see how many of you guys actually made it. So, thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.